mouth and tell her to breathe calmly. It's my interview with One Direction. It's a sound unlike any other. Young girls screaming at the top of their lungs. And we have these five blokes to thank or blame. We're all familiar now with how One Direction came to be. They came in as solo artists. I thought they would do better as a group. And they're now top five in 23 countries around the world. And since arriving in the country, we've seen Harry, the youngest, get accosted by Carl. Liam and Louis go dipping in Sydney Harbour. Zane get a Nova receptionist in the bad books with fans. And Niall's Vegemite Toast reaching a hundred thousand bucks on ebay and i caught up with the boys in the middle of their aussie tour so when you guys were auditioning for x factor did you have any idea it was going to end up somewhere like not that? at all no, never you, ever you just to walk on that show just hoping for the opportunity but the, like even the opportunity you're hoping for is nothing like this just to even get through to the live shows is the opportunity you're hoping for then to do all this sort of stuff afterwards is just you know the, the biggest bonus ever so do you think you've had time to take it all in it kind yeah. of hits you at different stages like you might <laughs> yeah. lean hey you kind of might like lay in your bed one night and like you know really they start to think about what's going on, but because everything moves so quickly, we kind of just go with it. How are you finding Australia? You having fun? Great. Right. Yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of fun actually. It's actually one of our favourite places that we visited. Yeah. yeah, we've had a lot of time to uh, to get out and and, and go and see. Mainly, we've been surfing a few times. Been surfing a lot, so that was good. So you, you went surfing. You also you you were on a boat in the on Sydney Harbour. A lot of your fans would like to think that you each own a boat. It's we've a got a rubber time. dinghy. That's yeah. about as far as we've got. Yeah, we're we're yeah. a bit of a bit of a distance away from that. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing that's happened with a fan? Somebody asked to lick my face once. That's quite a that's quite a known story. It's intense. Like, a girl flashed her boobs to you, didn't she? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And are you, are you the first to to have a, a boob flash? Uh, no, it was, we're in the car. We missed it. Um, I have missed every sight at the side of the car, and it's like ten in, and she just got her boobs out. Yeah. Which is something that we don't endorse. But if it happens by accident, then what can well, we do? What, it's not. What can you do? Have any of the girls been able to get through the security yet? Somebody yeah. tried to kiss Louis. Seven hours. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was that was yeah. quite strange. Someone tried to kiss you. When, it was a man. Well, yeah, it was a man. When I was walking back through, it was it was a press guy, and he started going for the kiss. I was a bit it was like, like this. I literally went, sit a bit, and sit there, sit there. So who's got girlfriends? I, like I've been trying to get certain answers here. You go, you guys have got girlfriends. Now, are they under, like, protective custody now? Like, surely all of the fans, like, hate your girlfriends. No, not really. That's an awful, awful thing to say. No, I'm not because yeah. they're not nice people, but, but I imagine that they're very jealous of your girlfriend. No, Danny, Danny I was actually, she was in Ireland uh, doing some dancing stuff over in Ireland, and um, she went back to the hotel, and there was fans waiting for her at the hotel. And she just, like, said hello to them, whatever, and then she went in. But they're nice. They just, you know, say hi. I think them. on a whole, for, for, for both the girls, the fans are actually very, very supportive, and it's actually... Yeah. Um, it shows what kind of people of our fans are that they are, you know, really good to the to the to the girls. Now I've got some questions that our viewers have asked me to ask you. This is from Helen. Which of your bandmates would you feel worst about killing in a post-apocalyptic death arena? That's a bit of a Hunger Games sort of question. Oh, Who would you least like to have to kill no. out of the rest of the group? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I would. I'd go with that as well. Uh, 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 yeah, I think he'd just like curl up. <laughs> Who's looking after Liam's turtles? While you guys were away, Caitlin asked me to ask that. Who's, who's uh, Danielle is at the moment, but we had to split them up because the one started biting the other one's foot and he lost a foot, so I had to, really? to split them up. Yeah. No, I, I came home one day and my turtle was just missing a foot. Liam lives a crazy life. <laughs> now, I have to ask you one more thing, Harry. This is, this is to you. I believe you met a man called Carl Stefanovic. would have interviewed you on the, on the Today yes, Show. Yes. I think he got a bit too physical with you. Yeah. Now, I've got a Harry doll here. Can you show me on the doll where the bad man touched you? <laughs> Yeah. 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 And how did it make you feel, Harry? It's bad. <laughs> he told me he was intrigued. <laughs>